Pride and welcome to my encapsulated shell shard workshop. In this workshop, I'm going to teach you how to use our beautiful Get Now by Lauren McBride shell shards in your acrylic designs. I really hope you guys enjoy this workshop, so let's get started. So welcome to my shell shard encapsulation design set workshop. So I've got my three nails here that I've already um, shaped and popped onto my tip. Now obviously if you were doing this on a client you will have either put the tip on or sculpted out on a clear base. Okay. So the shell shards that I'm going to use are from my own brand Get Nailed by Lauren McBride and we have got 12 beautiful different coloured shell shards here and they are absolutely stunning. So the first now I'm going to do is a reverse French. So I'm going to pop the shell shards to one side and I'm going to use a cover pink core powder in order to create a reverse French. So if you guys don't know how to do a reverse French, whether you're doing shell shard encapsulation or not, then this is how you do it. So I'm just going to grab my tip now if we were doing this on a client i would have sculpted out a really thin clear base in order to be able to work on top of and we are going to go straight in and do our reverse french so the first thing you need to do is apply your french line in your cover acrylic so nine times out of ten this is going to be an extension of the client's natural nail bed okay so i've just popped my bead on there and now i'm just going to work it down into my smile line okay so i'm not flattening this out too much and obviously you can go in with a rounded smile line or you can go in and do a chevron smile line or you could do something different it's entirely up to you so i'm just going to put that smile line in there i'm not going to go too extreme with this i'm just going to give it a nice gentle smile making sure that those edges are nice and even on those side walls now bead control is really important with this method okay because we don't want to be overexposing our client and we don't want to be chasing that bead around we want it to stay where we've put it and just manipulate it into that smile okay so just using the tip of my brush just to get that nice crisp smile in there again making sure that it's nice and even at both of those points at our side wall so I've just patted that out now so it's nice and flat and now I'm going to go in and create the rest of our cover so I'm going to come in here now I appreciate this is quite a large tip and it may not be the case that we do this length on a client so just bear with me while i fill in the rest of this cover pink area so normal rules apply pop your bead on feather it out into that previous bead and then taper it down into that back and then this is where we would put our apex in and taper that down into our cuticle line and again feather that out like so and taper it down into that cuticle line and then make sure that it's nicely tapered and then pat it out so it's nice and even so what we want here on this smile line is a nice thick wall. So this area here needs to be nice and thick. So I'm going to go in with another bead now. Now we've got that full cover on there. I'm going to place it onto my smile line like so. 
and then feather that back into where our apex would be. Okay. And then just tap that on either side and then just make sure that that wall that we've created is nice and thick. Like so. Okay. I'm just going to push that back ever so slightly. And now I'm going to leave that to set up. So I'm going to pop that to one side. And now we are going to do a full encapsulation on this second nail. So I'm going to use my clear acrylic to be able to do this. And I'm going to grab out my shell shards. Now it's entirely up to you what colorway you use. I am loving the mermaid vibe at the moment. So I'm going to use these turquoise shell shards. And I'm just going to pop them into my flip tray because when you work from the pot, they can be quite difficult to see. So you get the best choice of your shell shards when you use a flip tray. And I'm also going to use this beautiful purple And then I'm also going to go in with this beautiful, almost indigo, navy blue as well. So again, just popping them into my flip tray to make sure that I can get the best choice of shell shards. Giving it a little wiggle and you can see, you can get to see all of the smaller pieces as well as your larger pieces. So I'm just gonna pop those to one side for a moment. And we're going to go in with a really thin layer of clear acrylic. So I'm just going to come in here. And again, if you were working on a client, you will have sculpted this out or tipped them ready to go. And then I'm just going to pick up my shell shards with, I'm just going to pop them in front of me so I can see what I'm doing with my acrylic brush and just literally pop them onto the nail nice and randomly and again the colorway that you choose is entirely up to you like so so just picking them up popping them down onto the nail and keeping them as flat as we possibly can okay so again, I'm just going in with a really wet acrylic bead and popping them onto the nail. So I'm going in with my purple and just putting them randomly across the nail. <coughs> Then I just want a tiny little one just there. Okay, so I'm done with my purple now. I'm going to pop that to one side. I'm now going to go in with that beautiful indigo blue. And now I'm going to start to lay them and fill in these gaps. Like so. And you can pick up a little tiny bead of acrylic on your brush and then pick up your shell shard and pop it into place. And then that bead of acrylic is gonna hold that shell shard in place just while you manipulate them around that area. slightly too big so I'm just going to break it and then pop it down and then I'm going to go into I'm just going to grab a couple of tiny little bits just to pop 
on the end here and you have to be aware of where your acrylic is going to be at its thickest okay so i'm just breaking up these pieces with the end of my brush just to get some smaller shards of this turquoise and then again just going in and filling in any areas that are a little bit too empty and then once you're happy I'm just going to pop a little bit more just on this tip and this is a very much trust the process moment okay so it's one of those that's going to look really messy until we come to file it in so you really do just need to trust the process so again just filling in any gaps It's quite nice to have that negative space popping through. That will help to give the nail nice depth. And then I just need a couple more here at this cuticle line. I'm just looking over the nail now, making sure that there's no obvious large areas that haven't got any coverage. And if there are, I'm just going in and filling it in. And you don't want all of these shell shards to be sitting flat because you want to create depth on this nail. Okay, so. If there's some that are sticking up slightly, that's going to add to the depth on the nail, which is what we want. And I'm just going to pop one more there. So once we've got that full coverage, okay, we are now going to encapsulate. So I'm going to let that set up just for a little bit. <coughs> and then I'm going to go in with my clear acrylic so I want to work quite wet and when we're working on a client with this we want to have their finger at an angle at a 45 degree angle pointing down because what we want is gravity to take hold of this bead of acrylic and work with us so I'm popping it down on the acrylic line and it's nice and wet because what we want is to fill in all of those gaps. So I'm working really gently and just going in and teasing that bead down, okay? And I'm gonna do that all the way down the entirety of the nail. So marrying up the previous bead and then bringing this down. Now we don't want to get any air bubbles in this, so don't overwork your acrylic. You just want to tease that acrylic down over those shell shards, okay? So you want to work wet enough that you're coming and filling all of those areas in, but you don't want to work too wet that you don't have control of that bead, okay? And then just feather that up. So we're just getting our first layer in here and basically filling the gaps. Okay, again, popping another bead on. Now, obviously, if the nail is shorter, you won't need as many beads as this. And if it's longer, then you will. So again, taking full control of that bead, making sure that we're filling 
all of those gaps and then when we get to our free edge you want to bring it up and taper it up this way and then that way you're not going to get any of that acrylic seeping underneath that free edge it's the last thing you want okay so you can still see it's a little bit higgledy piggledy so i'm now going to go in with my acrylic and now we've filled in all of those gaps it's going to enable me to go in and put the structure of my nail in so this tip has already got quite high apex on it so it's almost done the job for me so i'm just going to go in now and put my structure in like i normally would if we were capping an ombre or a french or anything like that And then blending it up and then getting that nice smooth even consistent top line on our acrylic so again pulling that down making sure that we've got that consistent top line as our structure so I'm just going to pop that to one side and allow that to set up and then we're going to go in and complete our reverse French so what I need to do is go in with a flat file okay and we want to sharpen up this wall so I'm just going to come in here I'm working on a tip so it's slightly more difficult and using my file at a 90 degree angle I am putting that straight line of my wall in. So we don't want to angle this. We want to keep it nice and straight. So we're not doing this, we're not doing this. We're keeping it nice and straight at a 90 degree angle, which is why it's important to sculpt out that tip with your clear acrylic first. Because we don't want, if you're sculpting especially, we do not want that form underneath to be moving okay so the first thing I'm doing is putting in those sides and then I'm going to bring this round I'm just going to take this off I'm going to bring this round and get that nice straight line or curved line I should say but nice straight wall on that cover pink and you don't have to use a cover pink you could use a colored acrylic for this it's entirely up to you so I'm just gonna get rid of that blue tack just so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better I'm coming in nice and gently you don't want to be too abrasive with this and then once you're happy that you've got that nice straight wall so you can see it's nice and thick nice and straight and nice and consistent all the way around I'm going to pop that back on my tip stand give it a little dust off And then I'm going to do exactly the same with my shell shards again, okay? So this time I'm going to get my pink. And I'm just going to use the pink for this. So again, I'm going to go in with my clear acrylic, pop a really nice wet bead down almost like we're painting it on and go in and pop my pink wherever they will fit now what we want to do I'm just breaking these larger pieces up what we want to do is make sure 
that we get those nice points of our French in there. So picking up pieces that have got that nice pointed line to it, okay? And then again, just filling in the entirety of that negative space. This would be super cool as alternative bridal nails as well. So I've got a nice point to that one, so I'm just going to come up and accentuate that just there. And then come in here. Using that straight line of that shell shard just to go in on that free edge. Then using my smaller pieces just to come in along here. I'm just going to fill in this area here. So it's really important that we get that nice smile line in there, okay? <coughs> so make sure that you butt those pieces right up against that smile line. And then not forgetting the very tip of my free edge. And then once you're happy with that, I'm just going to pop a bit more acrylic on this one because it's wanting to move around. There we go. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm going to go in and cap this with my clear. So again, working nice and wet, I'm going to come over the entirety of this smile line. So we want to fill this area in. So I'm working back onto that cover pink, okay? Don't worry that we're going over that because that is why we worked really hard to get that French line in there. And then again, nice wet bead coming in, filling in all of our gaps and all of those nooks and crannies. And then patting out like we normally would. And you can absolutely do this in gel as well. It would be exactly the same, but obviously you would have a cure time in there. So you can do this with hard gel. I wouldn't recommend it with a gel polish because even though the shell shards are super thin, it would be difficult to get that really nice clean line in there. Okay, so I'm just going back over this now. I'm just adding in acrylic to any areas that have got nooks, crannies and divots. And again, just bringing that down. And then I'm going to go onto my free edge. Make sure that that very tip is fully encapsulated right the way down to our sides as well. And then just tapping it out. So I'm going to pop that to one side now and let that set up. And now our fully encapsulated nail has set. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually e-file this in. So you can hand file it, 
but to be honest, e-filing out and debulking is so much easier than doing it with a hand file. So once I've done that, I'll be straight back with you. Okay, so I have debulked and with my e-file and gone in and smoothed this nail out beautifully, okay? But now I am gonna go in and finish off with my hand file just to get that refinement in there. So I have got my filing routine, but obviously I have debulked mainly with my e-file. So this is just literally refining. So I'm just going around that side wall and up onto this free edge okay and then I'm going to go in on the other side and do exactly the same and then I'm going to go in and around my cuticle line and just refine that out and then I'm going to go across my free edge and make sure that we've got that nice barrel shape to this stiletto okay so we want that nice rounded shape and now i'm going to continue to work down the nail you can work from the cuticle line which is what i would normally do if i was working on a client but obviously this is on a tip so it's slightly different because i have to keep hold of it so marrying up those side walls and that free edge, looking down the barrel, making sure that we have got that nice refined shape in there. Okay, so I'm just going to twist this around. Obviously, I wouldn't do this on a client because I would have started oh, I would have started on their cuticle line, okay, and worked my way up. So now I'm just scooching over their apex marrying up the cuticle and that side wall and making sure we've got that beautiful consistent top line in there so we need to check from the side and make sure that we've got that nice even so i've got a little bit of a divot here which i'm just going to go in and sort out so using a flat file making sure that we create that beautiful structure to the nail. There we go, that's better. I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit more. There we go. And then looking down the barrel of the nail, we want to make sure that those sides are nice and even, and we've got that apex in there from all angles. So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go in with my white block buffer. I'm just gonna get rid of that. And we're going to remove any scratch lines. So all the way to that side wall, across that cuticle line, and then doing the same on the other side. Again, this isn't necessarily the angles that I would work at because this is on a tip and I have to keep hold of it. When it's on a client, it is so much easier. So you want to get rid of any of those scratch lines that your file has left. If you don't, it will show up, okay? So you don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to pop this back on its tip stand, ready to be top coated in a second. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. And then I have already e-filed in the free edge, so the French part of this nail, okay? And again, I'm just going to go in and refine it. So side walls. on both sides and then side wall refinement right the way down to that free edge and getting that taper okay which is what we want we don't want any hard lines we don't want this to be stopping short okay same on the other side Ooh. If you haven't seen my filing routine video, then I highly recommend to head on over and watch that because it will really help you with refining your filing technique. And then scooching around that cuticle line. Just 
tips a little bit wonky so i'm just going to go in and refine that obviously we wouldn't do that on a client and then across our free edge getting that beautiful barrel shape in there again obviously if we were doing this on a square you'd be getting that beautiful straight square edge in there same as on a ballerina or a coffin you would be fining to whatever shape it is that you've created so i'm just going in I'm refining those side walls slightly as I work down the nail and then this is when your reverse French is going to pop out so if you had done your reverse French with a white then this is where this wall is going to pop out and give you that really nice crisp line okay <clears throat> So I'm now just going over my cover peach and because this is a core powder it means that I don't it's a strength powder so I don't have to go in and cap that so if you were to do this in a glitter or a colored acrylic powder then I would always always go in with my clear and cap it to make sure that you've got that strength powder on top and underneath okay but because this is a strength powder itself we don't have to worry about doing that so it really does save you a job so once you're happy with that again checking from all angles so i'm just going to check from the side that there's no nooks crannies and divots which there isn't from the other side as well and then down the barrel of the nail so i'm just going to file out here a little bit more like so and then again i'm going to go in with my white block buffer and just remove any of those scratches so my file that i used previous to this one was a 180 grit file okay for those of you that want to know and then filing out around that cuticle line obviously this is completely different angles to if i was working with a client but that's the joy of working with tips you can turn it into the position <laughs> that you want it to okay so I'm just going to dust that off. I'm going to pop it back on the tip stand. Give it a little dust. I always use a fluffy brush and then I go in with a more substantial brush just to dust off. So the dusty brush gives me that main dust removal. And then my little scrubby brush will get into all of those obviously if you're doing a client into their side walls and around their cuticle area okay to give you that really beautiful dust free finish so i'm now going to go in with i'd rather be shiny which is from my own collection which is our no wipe top coat so this is a 60 second cure and I'm gonna go in and do this full cover first. So obviously, if you're doing this on a client, you want to steer clear of their cuticle side walls and also make sure you cap that free edge and just look at those shell shards popping. Absolutely stunning. So you just need one nice even coat of this top coat. Okay, and that is going to go into the lamp for a full cure, which is 60 seconds. And then we are going to do exactly the same on our French. So starting at that cuticle line 
making sure that we're not having any contact with the client's skin and then revealing those beautiful oh my days they are just stunning those beautiful shower shards underneath Now you could go in and add some crystals to this or do whatever you wish to enhance them even more. But you can see, I'm just gonna move this, wait for my camera to focus. There we go. You can see there the depth that we've created by using that encapsulation technique. It refracts light from all different angles. It is absolutely stunning. And we've got that beautiful line of light in there as well, which comes down to our filing routine. So I'm just gonna pop that one into the lamp and then show you the fully encapsulated nail. Again, refracting light from all different angles. You can see there Oh my days, it is stunning. These are going to be the nails for the summer. And again, we've got that beautiful line of light in there from apex to tip. Consistent all the way through, which is exactly what we want. And the depth that you can create, and this is why I said to you, don't lay them all flat because you get that depth within the overlapping of the shell shards. So I'm gonna pop that one there. And then this one has now fully cured. And there you have it, our beautiful encapsulated shell shards. I really hope you guys enjoyed this workshop and if you did, please make sure you click the subscribe button and if you want to see any future workshops, just click them down below. Thank you as always so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.